look. It has. It's just been, it's been a long two weeks, I feel like. Yeah, it's been, I feel like since the end, last week of September for me to now has been busy, busy, busy. Well, yeah, you've kept, you've kept yourself hopping. Yeah. I mostly have just been healing. That's big. Healing and finishing things for my book. And it's been a lot. And hi and welcome to this episode, you guys. This week we are talking about how healing is not our purpose. Right. Healing, while beautiful, while so amazing and opens up many opportunities in life, is not your life purpose. Yes. There are so many other things like fun and joy and play. Yes. And whimsy and <gasps> letting the good times roll. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, hi, beautiful humans. <sighs> Thanks for being with us today. I'm Kayla. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to your soul. Welcome. A podcast of healing out loud for humans spelunking Woo-hoo. through their deepest hearts. <sighs> and we will maybe pop in the intro right meow or we didn't because tired again (laughs) I feel like astrologically there's just been like a fuckload of energy oh yeah and in the midst of healing a lot of things and trying to accomplish a lot of things Mm -hmm. sometimes the healing feels like dragging me down a little like I just the taking the time to heal is like well or I could Scroll TikTok. Yes. Or YouTube Shorts, which is, uh, for some reason, my preferred over TikTok. Don't, I don't really have a good reason for that. Other than I'm on YouTube anyway for long form content. So it makes it really easy to just also hit the same icon for short form content. There you go. Yeah. So, um, lesson number one in healing is not your purpose. Sometimes just resting so that you can be inside of your own life is what you need instead of doing energy work or like talking out your trauma between you and your journal or you and your therapist like I mean to be clear I'm not telling you to not go to therapy that's not what I meant correct it's important to honor yourself enough to rest and to allow yourself time for fun because Sometimes when you're doing all of that healing, man, does it get heavy. So heavy. Cause like, I know. Tell him about it, Rose. Oh, yeah, but I didn't even clock the dogs barking. That's how, like... Yeah. <laughs> it gets I, heavy. I've arrived. I've arrived here at this point, I, and I can't say much else for what I'm paying attention to. Yeah. They're just playing little cutie pies. They are, and it is so cute. Mm-hmm. So take time to watch your dogs play. <laughs> In the bright yellow fall leaves. Oh, there they go. <laughs> and they're off. Yeah, there are really pretty leaves. Can I grab you one? Yeah, I can. Look, cute. They're so like yellow. They're like little lemon lime. Mm-hmm. Um, ash tree leaves. If you're listening to this and you can't see, it's Google an ash tree leaf, and it's the yellow fall version. There, it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Yeah. So. Honestly, rest and fun get to be as useful as healing because we didn't come to this planet as like little souls wanting a human experience just to heal shit. Like that's not why we came here. We came to have fun. We came to like came for the whole experience. Play this video game called Human Existence on the planet Earth. Well, that was a lot. 
We lost a cord. We did? No, we one didn't. One of them. Yep, one oh, of them unplugged. Fuck, we did. Well, I don't know what sound we're getting. Oh, do you want to plug that in? It came undone. Thank you. Thanks, love of my life. Carrie to the rescue. Did it stop recording because that came out? Still going. Okay, great. Woohoo! And Thanks, you know Carrie. what's staying in? All of this. Yep. I don't have time to edit, and I don't think I don't you do either. I don't either. No, so sorry. Thank Why? You. Because yeah. this episode is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow you'll see it all. <laughs> you'll see it all. <laughs> and I shan't be editing. We'll be back to your regularly scheduled um, content. Content. One of these days. You guys, doing life together means that you are seeing us at our perhaps <laughs> weirdly tiredest. Oh my gosh. My dogs play intensely, just so that they you know. Do. If you heard all of that, they're. They definitely will have heard all of that. Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks, hey, thanks Carrie. Clark. My husband just slowly shut the door. <sighs> Peace has fallen again. Yes. Across the land. Mm -hmm. This also happens at my house, but it's between the dogs and the 12 year old. And no, excuse me, my bad. The 13 year old and the 13 year old and the 10 year old and the 44 year old. Look. <laughs> Life. And then I put myself to bed. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, mama. Yeah. Yep. Because rest is important. Yes. So anyway, thanks for doing life with us authentically. Because even when I had long COVID, like at the beginning of this mm -hmm. podcast, I feel, I don't know, tired or somehow. Because I was the one editing at the beginning. And right. I was somehow doing that with long COVID. Well, A, because that was the only thing I was doing. Right. That was... The largest thing that I could accomplish was that one task. Yes. Cute Which in reality is like airplane. 15 tasks. Yeah. <laughs> it's far enough away. We only really need to worry if a plane from Offit flies by because those fuckers make noise. Oh, do they? Yes. Okay. And we're in the flight pattern. <laughs> Hooray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, you're catching us, I don't know, at an interesting time in our lives. Because I am launching a book right now. It ah! just went up for pre-sale yesterday. and well, I got mine. As, Did you get yours? Because I got mine. Well, they're just now hearing about it. Well, I got mine. Well, some listeners follow me on Facebook, so they may have gotten theirs. Um, I'm glad you got yours. Got I'm mine. excited. I'm so excited, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's officially for sale on the 23rd. So, yeah. like two or three sleeps after you listen or watch this if you're watching it the day it comes out that is when homecoming the diy self-love book is officially dropped from my heart into the ether for you guys to enjoy i'm so excited me too and that getting that accomplished is in large part why i'm very tired you worked so hard on it Hard, yes. Yeah. Harder than I've worked on many things. No. Yes. Why? Like you were so dedicated. Well, because it like needed you were, to happen. And you were so inspired too. Like you were just, like you were excited. Like you were. Well, yeah. Because you know I mean? it yeah. just was time. Yes. Because <laughs> it was time. Yep. It was. <laughs> it was. As with all things in my life, it's not time until all of a sudden it's time. Yeah. And it's getting done and it's happening. And I feel like that is how all change happens in my life. Yes. I'm not ready for it until all of a sudden I'm ready for it and it needs to happen now. Yes. I mean, now has taken a month. Like, just so that we're clear, I'm not, like, not treating myself gently and not, like, resting. I'm right. not... I do not buy into hustle culture. No. So I have officially unsubscribed from that. Yes. So I've been working devotedly. Yes, I love that. Mm -hmm. In yeah. devotion to. Mm -hmm. In devotion to. So, 
Yeah, and I slept real shitty last night, so yeah. that is also why I'm very tired today. I did today. not sleep well last night either. I slept great, like, the last uh, week, mm-hmm. ever since um, our friend Amanda gave me a vibrational healing recording to listen to. Mm-hmm. I've, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I just listen to that, and I go right back to sleep. And I listened to it at 2 a.m., and I did not go back to sleep very Aww. well. I Like, I was in and out. Yeah. I just intermittently napped between 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., mm-hmm. so... That's five hours of quality sleep that I could have gotten. Right. That was highly interrupted. Oh, man. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I can't change it. There's no going back in time to sleep. Right. And I don't think you can catch up on sleep. It's something that you, I've no, heard. No, you cannot. Yeah. That's not really a thing. So you can actually, like, put yourself in a worse situation by trying to catch up on sleep. Because you're fucking with your rhythm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just get your eight hours and we're nine. Sometimes my body prefers nine hours. I like to sleep at night for like six hours. I love that. And then I do love a good nap too. I yeah, I like a nap. Well, and our human design friend Megan told both of us that according to our human design, we should be getting horizontal at some point in our day. Yeah, Megan told me that I should try to nap every day. I was like, yes. Yeah, she didn't tell me I needed to nap. She just told me that I needed to lie down every oh. day at some point during the day. She did say, she said get horizontal, She but she did say the word nap to me. And I was like, yes. But I also did tell her that, like, I get six hours. Like, I sleep six hours. Mm-hmm. Like, my body will have, my body really struggles to sleep more than six hours at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At night. So anyway, so maybe that's why <laughs> she's like, mm-hmm. she did the math and she's like, oh, but you mm-hmm. need more hours. So <laughs> close your eyes and get that REM sleep. I mean, that yes. could possibly be. Mm-hmm. So suffice it to say rest is necessary and it's important to acknowledge when you need breaks from doing your own inner work yeah. because... You can get inner work burnout, I feel like. Yes. And I feel like that's perhaps not a highly talked about topic, Mm -hmm. at least not in circles that I have witnessed it with my eyeballs or ear holes. Same. So, like you, because healing at the beginning feels so beautiful. And you're like, oh my God, this is a lifeline. I'm finally doing it. I'm finally feeling better. Let's do more and more to feel better. And then at some point, feeling better becomes your default. Yes. And that fucking rocks. Yes. But then you're still on this, like, habit train of doing the inner work and doing the Mm -hmm. inner work and doing the inner work. And sometimes you just need to go to Chili's with your sister and your cousin at 10 p.m. You know? Like, sometimes you just need to have fun. I want to go. You're so welcome to come. (laughs) Like, it just... Sometimes you just need to be inside of your life, living and enjoying it. There are three birds perched on the deck railing oh. right now, and it's really cute. Oh, they're, they're little sparrows. So cute. They just want a little drink. Well, and we have the little um, bird feeder uh, basin yeah. out right now. The little teal thing sitting yeah. on the railing. Oh, yeah. And it's got bird seed in it, but mm. we're probably freaking them out. They've gone now. <laughs> um, they're like, don't make eye contact with me. Seriously. When we got bungee, that's what they told us not to not to make eye contact with the bird. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Because it makes them feel threatened. Oh, poor little lambs. I stare at my nature birds all the time. I know. I do. And I also look at bungee all the time now, but he wants me to because he'll say, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. I love that. He's such a good boy. Um... Yeah. So sometimes it's important to just be in your life. Yes. Playing with your... Yeah, parakeet. Little parakeet bird. Yeah. I was going to say bungee bird, and I'm like, that's not a type. That he's is a, just who he is. He's a budgie. A budgie parakeet. Yeah, so they call, well, so he's a parakeet or a budgeneer. I don't know what that means. Is that a type of bird? Yes. So is he a parakeet or a budgeneer? Well. Or is that a type of parakeet? It's like one is, I don't exactly know. That's fair. You don't have um, to know. You're like not Google. A, a budgeneer is like, there's like a... 
I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta live your best life loving yeah. on your bird, even when you don't yeah. know Buddy versus Parakeet. That's okay. Yeah. I know they're close, but I know that he is considered a budgie. I think it's a Great. type of parakeet. Like Beautiful. there are like wild parakeets. They're bad. And stuff. <gasps> oh, they just needed oh a God, snack. They're so cute. You guys. Oh, there's a fourth one. Maybe we should go live sometime and just oh, do bird a watching. Fifth one. Set up a little yes. camera by the thingy thing. <gasps> That'd be little, so cute. With the little fuzzy microphones. Uh, yes, we shall. Next time we record, we'll try and use the new Yay. fuzzy microphones. We got little lapel mics that have like a little, little like fuzz thing on top. Like this, but like with fuzz and tiny and on your lapel. I don't think they probably needed that explanation, but that's okay. That's, that's all right. How? That's all I got. Sometimes because I spent so long teaching mm -hmm. and in teaching, you want to explain things multiple ways so yes. that everybody understands. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a good teacher, you do that. Um, because not everybody understands it the one way the first yes. time. So when I'm tired, I default to that because mm -hmm. I spent so long in that speaking pattern day yeah. after day, year after year. Yeah. So sometimes I just over explain things to grown adults and it's fine. Hey, I've got a neurodivergent brain, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Great. I am perfect for neurodivergent humans. Probably because I'm also neurodivergent. Me. With many coping skills. Yes. Trauma will do that. Trauma-born coping skills. Yes. Isn't it so fun? No. No, it isn't. It's not. It, that was sarcasm. Yeah, so I know sorry. it was. I just... <laughs> I will. I try hard to not be sarcastic anymore. I try to only speak into existence what I actually mean. You know? Yeah. The poet in me is deliciously obsessed with getting, like, the perfect word. Yes. For what I meant. Which really just is me explaining to my husband. <laughs> Thrice as long as he would care for me yes. to explain it. Because I have to say it in the way that I truly mean. Yeah. Like, uh, you want to split hairs and talk nuance? Let's talk about my feelings because then I'll really want to be accurate as fuck. I love that. That is perhaps why I, I cared so much about the budgie versus parakeet thing. Yeah. Because I, like, my brain wanted the accuracy of the yes. correct word. I, like I said, I do know he is a budgie. Love that. I think Bungie the budgie. Yes. I think it is like a an like an Americanized version of an uh, a UK kind of Aww. parakeet. Cute. I could have He's it so backwards. worldly. Yeah. But I know like they're only parakeets themselves are only native I think in Australia. Oh really? Yes. I didn't know that. And they don't look anything like they look. Hmm. Because we got to get weird with our genetics, for yeah. sure. Yes. So. Like, I did a lot of research. Well, it's just like the poor domesticated turkey will drown yeah. itself if it's outside in the rain. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. One of my teachers told me this <gasps> in high school. Because they're so dumb, because we bred them to be so docile, that when it rains, the turkey will look up with its mouth open, because that's what happens when turkeys yeah. look up. And... Like, they could drown because they'll just let the rain fall into their mouths. Isn't that sad? That is so sad. Is that why Hey Hey was so dumb on Moana? Hey Hey well, the hey chicken? Hey was a chicken. I don't know. I don't know anything about the intelligence of chickens other than... What about the thing with their little glasses? You... Whose little glasses? Never mind. It's a whole thing. I don't okay. want to... I don't know enough about it to Great. speak on it. Okay, that's fair. Um... Morgan, if you're listening, <laughs> my friend Morgan yes, with Morgan, the Sustainable su Suburbanites, uh, tell me, are chickens smart? Are chickens dumb? I know you've got an evil chicken. Yeah. Or a grumpy chicken. Yeah. I just, I just know that there's a chicken with attitude. Because yeah. she posts yes. about yep. it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so Morgan, if you're listening, please comment below on whatever platform. <laughs> yes, please. What's up with chickens? I'm curious now. Seriously. Um, so if you are not 
actively healing because you're like, fuck, I need a break and just you need to be in your own life. Yeah. What are we doing instead? I mentioned late night chilies. Like what 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 are we what are we doing? Like how are we being inside of our own lives and letting healing happen organically instead of being like, I am going to do nine things this week that heal me. We are being outside. Yes. Being outside in nature. Mm -hmm. Matching the leaves. Ashley matches the leaves <gasps> today do. with her cute little yellow top. I didn't even, wasn't even thinking about it. And Moldavite necklace. <gasps> yeah, it's new. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yellow and green vibes, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, so, enjoying nature is absolutely something that is a part of reveling and being in life because you can just stare up at mm -hmm. the little leaves in the sunlight, noticing where it glints and where it shadows. And just letting yourself be in the fullness, noticing little birds, getting mm. a little bit annoyed at the lawnmower up the street. Yes. Like just. Or chainsaw <laughs> or whatever that is. My goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, but the birds are having a little conversation back and forth. I'm it's pretty terrible. sure. They're so cute. Uh, we found a leaf bug earlier. There's a squirrel that just buried a nut over there. <gasps> Oh, yeah, we did find a leaf bug. It was so cute. It was. He was had a stump up my for arm. a leg. And on it was one missing. One of, he was missing his big He'd back seen leg. some shit. Yeah, he has. Poor little lamb. But he uh, said hi to us, and that was did. cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was very cute. He just was doing his best. He know? really was. We all carry trauma in our own ways. <laughs> what else do we do? to live our own lives. I've been letting myself consume media a lot more lately because that feels restful for me. Mm. And I also have had this desire to move my body more. Yeah. So I punched the punching bag while watching Taskmaster on YouTube last night. And nice. honestly, it felt really good. I love that. It, it is so not how, what I would usually do. I would usually like pick TV or kickboxing, not like both mm -hmm. at the same time. But I wasn't really trying to get aggression out. I was yeah. trying to like preemptively work on my yeah. aggression. Just like this is a thing I do in mm -hmm. case I got angry today and accidentally ignored it. Um, so is that healing or relaxing? I think I made it relaxing you know, because I put on Taskmaster and wasn't thinking about healing. I was just enjoying mm -hmm. Taskmaster while doing the motion that of a thing that I knew was good for me. You know, and you were saying earlier, so you said something about me matching the leaves and then you mentioned my Moldav Moldavite necklace and I was like... I didn't... Like, I inside my head, I kind of like... I almost scoffed a little bit because like... Even when I'm not actively choosing to be in the mindset of healing, mm -hmm. I have healing things happening. I have set my life up in a way mm -hmm. that I healing am is still, on autopilot. That I am still doing things. I have set my life up in a way that like healing is happening for myself. And for my family in different ways. Even when you're not Even trying. Even when I'm not trying. And honestly, that's kind of hot. It is kind of hot. Like, that's sexy. God, it feels good. To notice when your healing is on autopilot like that. Like, <sighs> you with your Moldavite. Yes. And me with my boxing while watching Taskmaster. Yes. Like, that's... Oh, I told Tari, we're not flowers. I know, we're I'm humans. so yellow. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I'm so confused. There are still you. flowers in the front yard, buddy. Just fly over the house, little man. Um, Good job, boo. Yeah, go get it, buddy. Did he legitimately yeah. fly up yes, and over the he house? Did. He I heard fucking you. love that. That's cute. Um, yeah, I think when you have, I don't know, been on your healing journey for 9,000 years, yeah. um, sometimes you get to rest on your laurels. And when you've worked so fucking hard yeah. to get your laurels to a place like where you feel good, yeah. Then feeling good just gets to be your autopilot default mode. Yeah. And it's okay to ride that wave. 
you don't have to keep pushing. Part of me feels like I should be learning a new healing modality. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, or I could just enjoy using the healing modalities that I know and live my life. Yes. I could live my life to the end of my life and have fulfilled my purpose if I only just kept using the things that I know now. Absolutely. And I don't know how I feel about that. Am I excited? Part of me is just like, but I want to learn new things. And that's so sweet. You can do that next month. You, yeah. You can yes. do that in four weeks yes. from now. Absolutely. <laughs> like, you can do that in six months. Yes. Like, ah! Maybe for now you can learn to, um, you can learn a new song to sing. For sure. You can yeah. learn... Or I could learn nothing. Yeah. Yes, As a lifelong sure. learner, yes. sometimes giving Gosh. myself permission to not learn shit yeah. makes me happy. I, I still find it confusing. You what? Find it confusing? I still find it confusing. To not want to learn something? Or? Like. I think yes. Mm-hmm. I get that. I'm very new to this. I don't want to learn something right now. State. Uh, I. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to learn something right hard now. or complicated or having anything to deal with healing at the yes, present at moment. at the present moment. Yeah. I want to learn something like, I don't know, that there is actually a difference between what Americans call an English muffin and what the Brits call a crumpet. Because yes. I thought they were the same thing for a minute, but actually a crumpet is made using yeast, whereas yes. an English muffin, which... The English also call it a muffin over there, um, is unleavened, like it's unyeasted. Yeah. And I thought they were the same thing. And that's the type of shit I want to learn right now. I don't yes. want to learn big things. Yes. I just want to learn little things that are like fun. Yes. And that gets yes. to be okay. It does. I feel like that is the season. That is the season of maybe winter. Turn, turn, turn. Maybe that's what winter gets to be. And that's how see, that's how winter gets to be fun. I'm sorry, I was stuck on the lyrics. I agree that that could be how winter gets to be fun. Yeah. Um. One of the ways. Just one, one of, of the one ways. of the ways. Well, you're gonna teach me about snow. I am. I already know where to get boots. you those beautiful unicorn earmuffs. Oh, that great. keep your hair or keep your ears really warm, Nancy. Says. I love that for me. <laughs> and I'll wear my little. Luna love good hat that my yes. sister got me over them and just have like <gasps> unicorn oh, yes. earmuffs on them. It'll be great. I'm going to be, be a whole fucking vibe, you guys. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Join the Soul Fellowship group on Facebook mm-hmm. if you want to <laughs> eventually see pictures oh, of yes. us frolicking in the snow. Yeah. Because I feel like that's where we are spending the bulk of our time yes. is in there and in our own lives. Well, and on my Facebook page in general. But who knows? I might not be spending as much time there. My astrology app keeps telling me to marinate on how I am in my public facing life. Mm. And I don't know what that means for my presence on social media. I'm marinating on that. See, I am still healing, even when I say that I'm yeah, not. Yes. Because I, what, like I checked yeah. my little lost So we come on here. App. Yeah, we come on here. Healing is not our purpose. It's a song, okay? It's a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. There's a song called Healing Is Not My Purpose. And, like, that doesn't mean that you have to full stop all healing. Right. It just means that your focus, Recognize, your primary yes. focus, gets to be on fun and joy and play. Yes. And not on Jesus Christ, heal me because I feel so shitty. I can't make it through today. Right. Like, because genuinely, that's how I felt for a very long time. Yes. My thoughts were very dark after I got out of my abusive right. relationship. Yes. And that, honestly, healing was my lifeline. Yes. Healing was the way that I kept myself on this planet. Yes. And in those moments, definitely. Um. So there get to be phases and seasons to to your healing, to how you are navigating your life. And I guess this episode is here for the people who 
have done a fuck ton of work already and Mm -hmm. it's okay to let your focus wander to things that are fun and not healing your trauma yes snaps for that yeah Mm -hmm. so yeah winter frolicking fun add it to the list let's i'm so yeah sold I'm so excited. Honestly, frolicking in autumn in November sounds hella fun. I know. I'm so excited for that, too. Because the, what, the maple trees won't drop their leaves for, like, two or three more weeks. I know it. I don't know why I know that. (laughs) Because I watch the leaves in the fall. Because they're beautiful. Last year, the leaves did a thing. Like, our weather was so weird in the fall. Like, we had a couple days in October, I feel like, that got up to, like, 90. Yes. And then, like, dropped really, really low into the 30s. And so what happened was our leaves fell, and they were, like, tie-dyed. Like, they had this super weird, like... I remember you talking about that. ...blotchy thing. And I grabbed so many, and I have so many pressed from last year that. that I need to get them out and do something with them. Only if it feels fun. It does feel fun. I love that. It does. It feels super fun. I just have to, like, carve out the time. I have to devote the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. To the fun thing. Yeah. Carving, to me, doesn't feel like fun. But devotion feels full of, like, ritual and peace. Carving also sounds fun. I really enjoy carving pumpkins. I don't anymore. I really used to, but I just don't care. I enjoy carving a pumpkin. I like to get all up in there. Making a mess. Yeah, I just don't care anymore. I like to, now that I'm older and more skilled and talented, I like to, like, use different tools to, like, make different layers so you can, like, let different lights shine through. That's beautiful. I like it. I'll just happily look at your masterpiece and enjoy it. I would like to carve wood. Whittle. Yeah, I think I would love to whittle. I don't I like think I that can for say you. It. I think I would I think I would whittle. Yeah, I can't. Whittle. You just did. Okay, yeah. great. Whittle. Whittle. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be a whittler. Oh my god, that just makes me think of oh, what's the character on Gravity Falls? Whittle. The like southern Yeah. Um bad guy in Gravity Falls. It's not Abner. That's Lil Abner. Whittle... Whatever. It doesn't matter. I know exactly who you're talking about. The guy they yeah. got... Gideon. 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 Yeah, Lil... Well... He calls himself Whittle Gideon sometimes. Gideon. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's, yep. It's been a whole, like... We didn't watch Gravity Falls, like, all of the summer. That's so strange. Because Gravity Falls is like an autumn winter show. I feel like it is. Have you ever seen Over the Garden Wall? Um, I've watched a couple episodes. They were a little slow for me. It gets a little spooky and a little weird, but it's so good. I might go back to it. It's like the whole thing entirely is only like a couple hours long. So you can like watch it as like one long thing. I think that's what I tried and I think I decided I didn't yeah, care. Yeah, because I think... <laughs> Maybe a, one long thing is too well, much. I have many friends who watch yes. Over the Garden Wall, it and they really so like it. so fantastic. I'm also, uh, I feel like, entirely different person now than when I tried to watch it, so yes. I might be like, more in my I just find it so aesthetically era. pleasing, and the music is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are some good, cozy autumn winter shows? Comment below, you guys, because I want to do more nights where I'm like... On my little balance beam in my living room watching TV yes. and just, like, fucking around. Yes. Or ba- bouncing in the, on the little trampoline. You should bring your trampoline over sometime. Yes. That would be fun. I also have a... Next slumber party night. Bring your trampoline yes. with you. Yes. And I will also... I don't know how big it is. Don't put yourself no, out. No, it's... Okay. It's small. And I will also bring my, um... What is it called? My... Bop it. Do you have a skip jump from when we were kids? No, but I have a bop it. I'm was, really good at bop it. I'm we so have, bad at bop we it. Have a, it makes me mad. Max has a BB-8 bop it. I am ridiculously good at bop it. It's annoying to me. Oh. 
I don't enjoy Bop It. I'm like, stop telling me what to do, Bop It. Manifest or much? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, no, what is it? It's, oh, it's like a aerial yoga swing. You want me to bring that? I don't that? know why, but I just heard areola when you said areola. <laughs> I was like, what? You've got a areola what? A <laughs> swing. I don't know what an areola swing is, but... <laughs> They're big enough to swing independently. Aerial yoga swing. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! And it just hooks. I have something similar, but it was not made for yoga. Yeah! <laughs> uh, ask me if I've used it, though, because I have not. Oh, sad. Why? Because uh, um, we hung it in our laundry room, because that's where we could see an exposed beam, and... I don't want to engage in not yoga in my laundry room. Why? Because cobwebs and it's not, it doesn't put me in the mood for not yoga is what I'm saying, being in my laundry room. Um, we did, however, steal the like attachment from it yeah. and use it for the, um, the heavy bag. Yeah, the punching bag. Well, you could put that thing where that thing is. I could, and I could not yoga in my living room. Yeah, you, you could. You are correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. I so hope things like my mother-in-law doesn't listen to these. I hope that, like... I mean, not everybody. Maybe <laughs> people will not get what, all of the things what we're insinuating. Anyways, my aerial a ceiling swing that's for not yoga. That I mean, my aerial yoga swing. Oh yeah, really sorry. Is, Go back to the actual is, yoga. It really swing. is. So it's, sorry. It's beautiful. It's about the same color as this Karma coffee cup. <laughs> Good pluggy plug plug. Thanks. Cheers. We love Karma coffee. Okay, so but how do you do um, aerial yoga? So it just attaches to the points on the ceiling, mm -hmm. and it's got like handle things on both sides mm -hmm. um, that are three different lengths mm -hmm. and you can use them for your hands or you can like when you flip upside down if you flip upside down or whatever in it you can use them for your feet and different sizes or whatever and then there's one middle part and that's where your butt goes I feel like this would be an excellent way to expand my self safety because all of this makes my body go like eh, danger but upside down yes. no but you don't have to go upside down and you can make it a giant cocoon. Is it an indoor hammock? Can you be an indoor hammock? Yes, it's kind of an indoor hammock. And you can also go upside down. If you're listening and not watching, I'm making dramatic eyes at the camera because I'm very excited. Yes, it is so much fun. That sounds marvelous. Please bring your portable indoor hammock thing. I will. It's great. Because I just... Oh my god, these three... There's four birds at the bird feeder. <gasps> and at the oh water. Oh my god, they're so cute. They are. They, I don't think there's a lot of water in there right now, to be honest I with saw, you. I saw oh, water great. in there. I think it rained the other day. Love that. I did not... They're not partaking in the water, so uh, I imagine uh, it's not fresh enough. Oh, yep, nope, they're partaking. Just kidding. <laughs> and you're welcome for our narrating nature once more. <laughs> Kylie said she liked it. She said it was 10 out of 10 content Yay, or something like yeah. that. So, Kylie, I love you. Mm -hmm. Kylie's a barista at Karma Coffee. Hooray. She is fantastic. Yes. So, any who's all. Squirrel. There's a Literal squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> okay, so there's also this phenomenon of black squirrels here in Kayla's yard. None in my yard and a bunch in Lincoln. Well, we have a very large population of black squirrels in our neighborhood because they're adorable and I'll feed them every time. <laughs> I love that. Um, we do a thing for our dog dogs called Squirrel TV in the wintertime where we put a fuckload of bird seed out right next to the door. Oh, yay. And we let the squirrels come up and the dog, well, previously just Rose. We've never had a winter with Fred yet. Oh, boy. So it'll be Fred's first winter. Um, so the squirrels come up. They eat their food. I 
very diligently make sure that the squirrels are well fed and then I'll let the dogs out and then they'll chase the squirrel up the tree and the squirrel will be up the tree and then the dogs will come in and then the squirrel will come back to the food. And it's highly entertaining to Rose. The squirrels are so fast oh that they're never in danger of being caught. I love Rose, but she doesn't have the wheels. What'd you hear? Well, I heard everything that you said. And the woodpecker. And I saw it before I heard it. <laughs> it's a beautiful red head and it's little white body, red-headed woodpecker. Love and it. And I also saw on the fence a bright red cardinal. I love that. It's beautiful. It is. I wish I had my little bird book, but I stopped carrying it in my purse because it got too heavy. I get that. So anyway, with Squirrel TV, I don't let Rose chase the black yeah. squirrels because they're my favorite oh, squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think Fred will do with Squirrel TV? I think Fred is going to bark at the squirrels, which will annoy me, and then Squirrel TV will end. Yeah. It's my fear. Because Rose really likes Squirrel TV. Yeah. She loves it. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. In general, we're trying to train Fred to bark less. So Yes. How's it going? I mean, <laughs> there's frosted acrylic over our window mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. in the front. So he can't bark out the front window. Um, so better since then. Okay. All right. Because he can't see out the window. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Uh, although, even when he does stick his little head over to the side where he can see just slightly better, he's mm -hmm. barking less oh, that direction also, and he can oh. see. So, I don't know. Ooh, the lady uh, cardinal is in the tree right there with her little orange beak. Oh, yeah. She's so pretty. <gasps> wow. That is gorgeous. I love lady cardinals. Oh, that is loud. Oh, helicopter. That's a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just giving you the play-by-play -play of the neighborhood today. Yeah, you guys are so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that might be all I have. Yeah. Like I don't... on the subject of healing is not your purpose. Um, oh, I'm stretching. Like I know my purpose is to love myself yeah and you know what i feel like i got that on autopilot which for a self-love mentor feels really great yeah hold on i didn't have anything to cheers you with oh hey thanks it was more of a gesture but oh, i'll take okay. the cheers yeah. um, black squirrel just saw one okay there he goes <laughs> cutie pie so anyway yeah you know yeah i love myself and so i'll just be here having fun now in my life you know your face did not agree with the words that you said well my face is like but what what do I do with my life if it is not to learn to love myself um and it's to learn how to have fun yeah like that's it's to learn how to play do you know that there are like people raised with a secure attachment style who are already like confident in who they are and didn't have to like oh work desperately for two decades to like get their self-love in order do you know that there are humans like that what what do they do for fun they go bowling <laughs> maybe i enjoy that that's like your is that what they do they go bowling question mark i don't know um, Maybe that's what they do. What do you guys do for fun? Comment below. I would love to know. What do you think they do? Hang out with their friends, I think. Bowling's a thing people do with friends, isn't it? Yeah, I don't... I mean, it always breaks my nails. I don't so know. I, don't like I only it. ever went with my kids. You've never been... Like, I went bowling with my kids. I've taken my kids bowling. Oh, but you've not, like, been bowling as an adult you on your own? Like, by myself? Not by yourself, just like with friends or I weirdly went on a, <laughs> before I met Carrie on a blind date, like a setup oh, date. Yeah. Um, that was bowling and it was weird. Oh no. 
Well, because it's bowling is like performative, right? It's like, oh, let me pretend no, I that I gutters. give a fuck. I, I use the gutter bump bumpers. Oh, I love that for you. I that's not. Use the gutter what bumpers. My date <laughs> Why? That's a great question. Machismo? Um, not giving a shit? Like, I don't... Mm -mm. One of the two. Go. Get or the... a vast variety of other possibilities. I, don't know. I, I guess... Your black squirrel is coming closer Yay, again. Yay, he's so cute. <laughs> um, I've been mini bowling as an adult with friends. But that's I like... I don't know what mini bowling It's is. like ski ball, kind of. It's like... It's like oh, well, I like ski ball. I love ski ball. Dude, we should go to Beercade and play ski ball sometime. Yeah, that would be fun. I don't, because Beercade is quiet. I don't want to go to Dave and Buster's. No, it's loud. so Stop loud, and, and it smells like all of the things, all the times. Like there's so much <laughs> smells really in nice there. Way of saying that. It just smell. There's so many smells in there. It's too much smells for me, man. That's a good point. I get so overwhelmed by the like hearing that I don't yeah. even have time to think of the scent. But you're right. Scent is such a powerful, like it's one of our most powerful mm -hmm. senses. And we. Yeah. Like they do so much lot, to like, like clean, like they over clean that place. Oh, that's plus, not my deal. I hate cleaning. Plus it's smell. a bar mm -hmm. and they make a tremendous amount of fried food. So it's a, plus no a bunch of like, busters. plus a bunch of like. Yes, dudes. Ball. No, Dave and Buster's. A bunch of dudes. Yeah, like but I feel like a bunch of dudes wearing Axe body spray take their dates there. Oh, so well, like, yes. <laughs> so there's also that smell. Because what else cleaner. are you supposed to do when you're in high school? To be honest, I would have wanted somebody to take me to Dave and Buster's in high school. For sure. We didn't have one. We had. I think it was. Was it Sempex at the time? Only thing or we had Tornado was Alley. I don't know. It Chuck was something. Chuck E. Cheese and Aladdin's Castle. What the fuck is Aladdin's Castle? It was the is name it like a theme restaurant. No, but that would be cool as shit. It was the name of the arcade at the mall. Oh, across from gotcha. the theater. I never really went to mall arcades. You know, back in the me day, either. I always wanted to go to Downstairs West Roads because it was like <laughs> mini golf Daddy, or something. It's not me. It's no, not me you're looking for. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I can see it in your smile. I can't. I couldn't help myself. I needed to keep going. That's in Trolls. Great. You're obsessed <laughs> with Trolls. So they watch movies. Yeah. I don't really give a shit about watching movies. Well, I don't know. I like having a movie on. I like to talk during movies, though. Like, I like to... Sometimes movies are overwhelming now. I went to go oh, see the yeah. new Spider-Man movie and I was like, Jesus Christ. I had to close my eyes for a while because I was like, one? that is too high stimulation. Yeah. Yeah. The whatever the sequel to Into the Spider-Verse is. Yeah. I thought it was cute. But yes. Oh, I very... mean, it was excellent. Yes. But like, I was like, oh, this is just a fight scene. Yes. Uh, I might miss something happening, but through context, I will figure it out yeah. because my eyes need a break. That's when I go pee. Oh, I still needed my ears to hear. I was, I had too much FOMO. Yeah. I didn't want to leave the room. What if I miss something big? Gotta be in the room. Well, and it was it at happens. the movie theater where if you talk, they'll throw you out. So. Oh. It's not like I could ask what happened. Yeah. When I got back. Oh. Yeah. They have That's really valid. good food at that theater, though. So. Yeah, they do. Not like high caliber, but like good bar food. Yeah. Yeah. And the best popcorn. Got I like don't a eat a lot of well. I usually herb and parmesan popcorn. Cario will always oh. go classic. Oh, I really love their butter popcorn there, though. So is good. the buttered popcorn there have herbs on it? No, but they have a garlic parmesan that's really good. But they're oh, but they use real butter on their popcorn. If you get buttered popcorn, oh, there. that's nice. It's good to and know. It's so good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Normal things. Normal things. That's what, that's what they do to have fun. Normal things. Yeah. Having campfires is really fun for me. Yeah. Because we've got the fire pit in the backyard. Mm -hmm. I'm real sad because we're basically out of firewood right now. Oh no. Um. I have a ton of firewood at my house. Tons and tons and tons and tons already cut. C 
cool. Can yeah. I yeah. back my car yeah. up in your driveway? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless you're using it, I don't want to steal no, it. We don't ever use it. Let me talk to Mark though, because yeah, you know. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But people post about firewood. I obviously can purchase firewood with money. Yeah. I just haven't had to worry about it. I've been reveling and having fun so much more now that I've had so many campfires. Yes. But, like, now we're out of wood. Yeah. <laughs> and that hasn't happened in years. <laughs> Since my neighbor's tree got chopped down and we took, like, four loads of it. Nice. Or might be an exaggeration. Pry to. Anyway, yeah. Healing's not not the purpose. Having fun is the purpose. Yes. And when you have the privilege to finally be able to do that, it's okay to give yourself the permission to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because e- even healing is a privilege. Yes. So this is like next tier privilege. And yeah. I'm real grateful for it. So true. Mm-hmm. And I love that I was able to see that, like, even when I am overwhelmed or exhausted or need to take a break. Take a break. Gosh, that was in my head all last week. I know. <laughs> You're doing it. You're taking the breaks. I, You're- yes. Wearing the Moldavite. You're yes. taking a bath. Like you're doing but the all Moldavite, the things. I'm not sure how much of a break to wearing the Moldavite is, though. Hey, you made that decision. I did. You know, I was tired of just. That's a really slow good sign. Rolling. I love yeah. that for you. Thanks. I would love a piece of Moldavite one day, and I'm looking for slow rolling right now. Yep. Wow. I- I don't think I've ever expected to hear you say that. No. Who am I? Yeah. Is this this Freaky Friday? Are we having a Freaky Friday moment? Great. Yeah. On Thursday? Do it. You go balls to the wall. You just do the fucking thing. I will also do the fucking thing and be looking for slow, fun, chill. Basically, I'm going to rest on all of my laurels and have fun. Yeah. Instead of focusing on, like, what kundalini yoga sequence do I need to do today? Yeah. No. You don't have to do it every day. No. And I didn't. Take that a was break. just an example. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's it. That's all I have for you. Do you have more? Nope. We Next week we'll be here in costumes. Oh god, I forgot about that. I'm supposed to be a pickle. <laughs> Ashley's making me be a pickle. <laughs> what am I? Oh, do I get to pick for you? I don't know, maybe. Depends. <laughs> I mean, you could be a banana and we could both be phallic shaped. <gasps> that's true. Let's do that. I don't know if that's spunky enough for you. How spunky is your banana? How spunky is your banana? How loose is your papaya? I do not want to be a papaya. <laughs> no, papaya tastes like vomit. Ew! It does. I don't like the seeds. <laughs> we, I don't know. We had papaya on our honeymoon. You've got a fly in your hair. Go away, yeah, fly. Papaya. It's gone. Um, we had papaya on our honeymoon, and it was disgusting. Like, it was so high in acidity that it tasted like vomit to me. Ew! Gross. I do not want to be that, for sure. Yeah, no. What not. else? Um, it really put me... <laughs> I think you should be a sunflower. <gasps> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like, dull. I see, like, a sunflower headband somehow. Oh, yeah. The problem like a with mane. being a pickle is that there's no dimension. It's just a green log with bumps. <laughs> makes me think of the I Love Corn song. It's just a big lump with knobs. It's got the juice. It's, it's got, got the, the juice. juice. <laughs> I can't imagine a more beautiful <laughs> thing. <laughs> All right. So. Would you rather be corn? You have to be a pickle. 
You want to be three pickles? <laughs> I don't want to be three pickles. I don't even know how I would achieve three pickles in a costume. I'm barely going to achieve pickle. Although, I guess I have a green shirt now, and I've got green leggings. Can that just be my whole costume? But what about the texture? No, you gotta have a hat. So, I need to buy a green hat, is what I'm hearing. And the balls. Okay. I'll buy myself little bumps and a hat. Okay. It's got the juice. <laughs> It's got the juice. Okay. I love you guys. We're out. Love, love you. Bye. bye. <laughs>